Good morning, folks. We've got big news hitting all three infamentary film topics from this month, plus a whole lot more. Let's begin with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last day mostly quiet. Corona Hole continuing to turn through, but no sunspots and no solar flares. Solar wind from this Corona Hole is expected to arrive tomorrow. We are also seeing another line of plasma filaments incoming from the eastern limb. Good view here in ionized helium. That solar wind is relatively calm this morning as we await the next stream. The only note is that up in blue, the phi angle calmed and then re-entered a fluctuating state this morning, which is why we got the slight tick back up on the KP index, still in the green and nothing major. The earthquake uptick continued yesterday. Six pointer off the coast of Oregon, it did strike our black star alert. Hopefully that's all that's coming, but our eyes aren't closing here yet. Looking at Hurricane Dorian. Forecast models really tightening up yesterday and nearly ubiquitously seeing an impact to the southern and central Floridian east coast. Could hit Miami just like in the final episode of Dexter, perhaps that would have been a better D name for the system. Here we see all the forecasts plotted together, much tighter on the landfall. Questions still remain as to what happens afterwards. Other notes. The southwest U.S. is baking. This is due to a jet stream hitch northward in the west, allowing warmer southern air to ride up to the jet over the desert. Meanwhile, across the world, a similar hitch north means the opposite weather as southern colder air invades southeastern Australia. They are also getting help there with that chill from the polar vortex system cell, peeling that cold air out of the polar zone right over top of Australia. Up next, we're looking at volcanic exomoons. They say they have discovered an extreme version of Io, Jupiter's volcanic moon. I can't help but wonder if it has the same magnetic connection back to its host planet that Io has within the Jupiter radiation torus. Quick share here in case anyone wants to see what it looks like when a NASA scientist gets angry. Apparently, didn't like how the paper was cited, interpreted, received an unsatisfactory response upon messaging the author, and is now learning what it feels like to be one of us now that they've been ignored. Welcome to the party, pal. You won't need to take that patch off your arm first if you want to party, however. Now, let's go to the movie-related stories. Up first, plasma cosmology and we're looking at galactic physics. A spectacular paper has shown a completely mysterious coherence between the dynamics of a galaxy and its surrounding neighbors. This is amazing for a few reasons. First, the outside is supposed to decouple gravitationally. That's why they think they need more dark matter inside. The dynamics compared to the neighborhood require a better explanation, and coincidence isn't going to cut it. It is in fact the electromagnetic interconnectedness of these regions that makes them act similarly, all tied into the same system. That Plasma Cosmology movie released August 1st and is linked below. Up next, the cold. And boy, it's nice to see this story here basically saying exactly what we said in the climate movie two days ago. The ice needs to be locked at the poles if we want a nice temperate climate on Earth. Not only can they halt global warming as this article states, but they can overthrow the process and launch Earth into another ice age. That infamentary film is also linked below. And so is the third, Cosmic Disaster. We're starting on the topic with the last great event. Interesting piece about furthering evidence that the Clovis people were preceded by another group that was simply wiped off the continent in the disaster. Interestingly, they say the path the Clovis people took was not even possible to take until approximately the time of the last great catastrophe, perhaps after the shift. But before that, people had to take coastal routes into the Americas. So what is it that happened about 12,000 years ago? The rocks say magnetic excursion and extinction event. The stories of our ancestors say it was the sun. Those stories go together, actually, along with the underground world humans used to survive the last one. Today, DARPA is giving everyone a reason to ponder it. They have come out and furiously begged for a short-notice remission of underground territory to the secret government group. They want lots of them, and they want them now, by this afternoon. Nothing like a, hey, we want underground bunkers and we need them now to get an observer's blood pumping. All three movies are linked below the video. All three topics will be focal points at Observing the Frontier 2020 in Denver, observatoryproject.com for details, tickets, hotel information, and more. 
We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.